Hey everyone, it's Chris from Funset Guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about comparison operators. Now, we've already touched on um, assignment operators, uh, where we're just assigning a variable of value of something else and, and such things like that. So, if you're looking for that tutorial, um, I'll pop the link down in the description. Uh, just head over there and check that out. But as I say, in this tutorial, we are working with comparison operators in PHP where we are checking if something is the value of something else or if something is greater than or equals to or and, and, and such. So I've gone ahead and created a, um, a, P a comparison.php file and I've just got this open here. Now um, the, we've touched on it b um, briefly within our switch and our if statements um, where we've said if something is equal to something else so we've done something along the lines of um, email and um, now let's do name name equals Chris and then we've done if name is equal to Chris and then we've echoed you know a string of some sort so let's just say um, true so what we're doing here is we've, we've assigned a variable with the value of Chris and here we are saying, okay, is name equal to Chris? So where we, where we use the double sequ uh, double equals, so two two equal symbols next to each other, we are saying, is the value of this equal to this? Um, and in this instance, it is. So we're going to echo true. Um, however, if we um, wanted to check something like integers, so let's just do an age um, equals twenty seven. And we said is age equal to 27. In this instance, it's going to be true. However, if we add in a, a additional equals here, so we're saying, okay, is the value the exact same? So is 27 equal to 27? But it, um, we're, we're, but we're also checking the type as well. So this is an integer because we've not um, we've not wrapped this round in strings like this. However. This is a string because we've said, um, we, you know, we've wrapped quotations around it. So we're saying, are these two values the exact same, and are they the same type? So integer or string. So let's just echo. Um, echo. False. So in this instance, it is not. Although these two. Um, these two are equal to the same amount, you know, so 27 is equal to 27. This is an integer and this is a string. Now, what we can also do is we can also do um, does not equals. So let's just say um, does age not equal 27. So come over to here and here we're saying it's false because um, age does equal 27. However, if I went ahead and say, does age not equal 27 and is the same type, we're going true. So we can use the, yeah, we can use the um, exclamation mark to just basically say, um, does not equal. And the exclamation mark will be used again in, um, you know, further down the line. So let's just say if we was um, checking if a field was empty, we, would, we could do something like empty, um, dollar underscore post. Uh, email and then we would put our, our conditional text in here um, but we'd also put an exclamation mark in front of it and we could say okay is it not empty um, and that's basically what we're doing here we're doing the exact same thing does it equal okay does it not equal um, essentially yeah the same the same concept okay in addition to this we can do um, things like uh, greater than less than um, so is age let's just do this is age greater than 27? Um, I'm just going to take this and change it to 20. So if age is 20, uh, is if age is greater than 20, this should evaluate to true. Reload the page, and it is okay. If I change this down to 17, if age is greater than 20, false. It's not in this instance. So let's we can change it to less than. So is age less than 20? In this instance, it is. So true. Um, as well as this, we can uh, append a, uh, equals onto it, so we can say, okay, is age greater than or equal to 20? So, obviously, if we do greater than, we are only doing everything from 21 up. 
So we're saying if, if the age is greater than 20, we are going, okay, is it 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on. But if you want to include the um, value that you're submitting, just put an equals here, and we're saying, right, okay, is age greater than or equal to 20? Obviously, in this instance, it's not. But if I change this to 20, reload this page, and we get a true value. Now, if I just take the equals off, reload this, again, false, because it's not greater than 20, it is equal to 20. Um, we can also do less than or equal to 20. So um, in this instance, it's going to evaluate to true. And then, obviously, if we, we change this to 15, save, reload, come back, and it's still true. Um, we can also do um, this. We're saying it's not equal to, so I reload. However, um, I'm not going to I'm not going to go into this one too much. But basically, this just means does not equal. But that's essentially just the same as um, what we were doing here. So um, I'm going to leave that video there and move swiftly on. Um, I hope you've taken something away from this. Um, as I say, it's just. Uh, comparison operator is just checking if something is the value of something else or or if it's matching a certain criteria um, so uh, thanks for thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it take care